The UAE stands as a trusted partner and friend of India. The UAE card can be used in India as a rupee card, and all rupee card owners in India, when they travel to UAE, can use the rupee card in the UAE. We have also signed a memorandum of understanding with the UAE on advanced technologies, and we have agreed that we will work with industry and bankers to speed up and operationalize the rupee dirham trade much faster, much bigger. We are very, very keen to invest on infrastructure projects, on uh, projects related to education and healthcare. They are looking at food and food processing in a very big way. We have just concluded another very successful high-level task force on investments with the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi. I must thank the leaders of both countries, Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi and the President of the UAE, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, for their leadership in taking this partnership to very high levels. We have today concluded two very important agreements. One, an agreement between the NPCI and the United Arab Emirates, by which they will be providing technology and support to UAE to implement the rupee card system in UAE, such that the UAE card can be used in India as a rupee card, and all rupee card owners in India, when they travel to UAE, can use the rupee card in the UAE. This is the internationalization of the rupee card. This opens the doors for many such uh, partnerships for NPCI, and is truly a game changer in terms of integrating business and the economies of India and the UAE. We have also signed a memorandum of understanding with the UAE on advanced technologies, on collaborative research, on working towards uh, strengthening the intellectual property systems, on sharing of science and technology policies, and working towards harmonization of standards, legal metrology, conformity assessment, accreditation, both these milestone decisions today will help the Indian businesses, will help our trade expand in UAE, which will help attract more investments from UAE to India, furthering the vision of Prime Minister Modi and uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed to have a $100 billion investment in India from the UAE. We are also accompanied by a large business delegation who have flagged off issues of uh, concern that both sides have over the years' uh, experience, which we are resolving on a mission mode. We have also had extensive discussions around creating food parks in India, creating industrial parks, both in India and in the UAE. We have looked at further expanding the rupee uh, dirham trade, which has uh, now been operationalized with the effort of the Central Bank of uh, UAE and the Reserve Bank of India. I have just completed discussions with the Reserve Bank and the Central Bank, and we have agreed that we will work with industry and bankers to speed up and operationalize the rupee dirham trade much faster, much bigger that itself will have a huge impact both on saving at least 5% on all the trade that happens between the two countries, between all the currency exchange losses. It will also help us in making the remittances flow from UAE to India at a lower cost, thereby helping the middle class and all the workers who work in UAE when they remit their money to India the costs will become almost most minimal. And all in all, this 11th high-level task force on investments has been full of outcomes. 
I am very confident that this will set in force a new era of partnership between the two countries, of expanding the scope and the width of investments from the UAE to India, and certainly create millions of new jobs in India. Sir, in the HLFTI meeting, has UAE where they are keen to invest in India? They are very, very keen to invest on infrastructure projects, on uh, projects related to education and healthcare. They are looking at food and food processing in a very big way. Financial services and the entire gamut of uh, the ecosystem has been another area in which UAE companies have shown a lot of interest. The airline sector and the entire aviation ecosystem also holds a lot of promise given the huge thrust that's given to travel and tourism and the potential that India holds. I believe that the, in the days ahead, we will see significant flow of investments both in public markets and in uh, manufacturing and services sector, in pharmaceutical, in roads and highways, in ports, other infrastructure activities. Clean energy is another area, green hydrogen, renewable power, solar, wind, where they are very keen to focus their investments. Investments towards innovation and upstream and downstream projects in the petroleum and petrochemical sector are areas of mutual interest. So while at one point of time we would say sky is the limit, I think I can say now even the moon is not the limit. Thank you. We have uh, initiated the review progress. Uh, briefly it was discussed. Of course, petroleum prices being down this year, in terms of the trade on petroleum, the value has been down. On all non-petroleum trade, we see an uptick in trade values, but we have a task force which is assessing the successes and the potential for the future. So just one last thing on that MOU regarding industries and advanced technologies. Are we going to have a real kind of a technology transfer agreement also? Uh, this, this is uh, going to be the beginning of working together to explore which are the areas where we can learn from each other's experiences and where we can collaborate with each other for joint development, co-development of newer technologies and advanced technologies. Will some kind of it'll, be, it'll be some kind of a bridge, a technology bridge between the UAE and India. How, how, how we are going to implement that MOU, sir? Like well, as you are aware, the Honorable Prime Minister has been very focused on technology being the way forward. And uh, as you are aware, we have recently launched uh, a fund for encouraging uh, research and development in India. The uh, Anusandhan activities that we are promoting in India, National Research Foundation that the government is going to co-invest in to promote uh, greater uh, thrust to R&D activities. My own confidence is that Countries like uh, the UAE, countries like Switzerland, all of them are looking towards India for their future uh, innovation activities. You are going to hold some big bilaterals also, sir? I have a series of engagements with other ministers, other investment funds, and a lot of engagements with uh, business and industry, different sectors uh, of business and industry in the UK, in UAE. So, um, Last up would be, how do you review the relation between India and UAE financially as well as uh, how do you look at the countries being uh, moving together? What are your expectations and how are you going to take it high? Well, I think uh, the United Arab Emirates and India share a strategic partnership which is unprecedented. Never before in the history of our relations have we had as many exchanges as we have had in the last few years. The Honorable Prime Minister was here on 15th of July earlier this year. The President of the UAE was in India for the G20. We plan to have some more engagements uh, going forward at different levels. Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri was here yesterday uh, as a part of uh, the energy dialogue. 
both countries, whether it is in the matter of trade, whether it's in investments, whether it is on technology, whether it's on mutual sharing of success stories in different fields, whether it's our industrial investments, both in UAE and UAE's investments in different sectors in India, I think the tremendous potential that's untapped is now on a fast track. And uh, I clearly see our efforts of so many of the last decade or so bearing fruit in the months and years to come. We will be hearing some big announcements also soon. And uh, the UAE stands as a trusted partner and friend of India.